God, what a oh, come on! Let's go! Dead fine, say Will Griggs on fire! Go! Ooh, Very nice. Alright, we are 19 minutes away from day two. I was absolutely flankered tired last night. Jesus, I, I don't even know how we made it into day two. With a decent little stack as well. Everybody, this could be pretty mental. If I win another scoop, do you think you're ever gonna hear the end of me? We have 100% of ourselves in the 2K. Go crack. All right, 18 players left in a scoop. Let me show you the lobby. Let me see, show you what's going on. So it is 80, $85,000 for first. If we get a little pay jump, we lock up an extra $1,300. It's a tough enough field, but if we get one double up, we're basically in second place. We're in third place, unless we double up through Anzin. So, uh... You never know what will happen. We're going to give it our fucking best chat. That's all we can do. Yeah, uh, if this was a soft tournament, by the way, I'd open up that uh, King 7. But we got Billy Winsky and Anzim Flirt, who's uh, very aggressive and always has my number, to be honest. All right, if we get re-raised by these players, we're all in. If uh, Pivagar shoves, we are not folding. Stars nuts, in it? Stars nuts. All right, we're all in chat. Could be a short day, too. Uh, these two players are incredibly aggressive. I have a decent-sized bounty. Let's hope uh, if they call it a flip. Let's hope if they call it is a flip. Both players cover me. Huge flip. Oh my god, please hold. Please hold. We're gonna win a scoop. 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 <clears throat> Fine line between cockiness and uh, confidence, my friends. Refresh. Oh, two out of 18? Oh my days. Look what the cat dragged in. All the people watching this video, only 17% are subscribing. That means 83% of you hate me and haven't subscribed. Why not? Hit the button. It's free. It supports us. Do it. We are 2 out of 18. We won a massive pot. Set over set. Uh, if Simon opens, we're just gonna fold. If Simon folds, we get in the mix. Obviously, having Billy on my left, the more chips we get, the more awkward it gets. Uh, we are gonna barrel. Wait, King 5 of hearts. Obviously, there's gonna be some check shoves on this turn. Uh, that's fine. I don't know if we wanna bluff this one. I don't know if 5 6 is how we bluff. Might be better just calling. Might be a mistake. We are gonna go all in on the river, though, chat. <clears throat> we are gonna go all in. Let's go! Give me them chips. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna start with a call. We are gonna start with a call. Is there a noise? I don't hear it. I don't hear it. I think King Queen, Ace Queen would be clearer, bigger bets, but I think we're just gonna block with Queen 10. Billy's a sick puppy, isn't he? Billy is a sick puppy. Oh, I'm just gonna randomize it because it's a bent Billy. Like, I don't even have it open yet. All right, go. Nice hand. I rolled 99. I didn't really want to call, but. Oh, imagine I just. Uh, if I had it, just not opened it. If I had it, just not opened it. All right, giving Billy chips isn't ideal, but what can you do? I don't think many pay people are capable of bluffing there, but I'm just not gonna. Um, I'm just not gonna make very big folds. Um, I'm gonna. I don't know. It, it, it could be wrong to even roll it against Billy. Like, maybe Billy's not even a. Uh, Bluffing that spot enough. Double up in the 2k? Yes. All right. We might have fucked up there uh, on the river, but whatever. It's it's eight big blinds. It costs us. We're in a great spot. We are three out of nine. It happens. Wait, the, the biggest thing that is I'm after wasting a lot of my time my time bank. That's a problem. That's a big bounty. Eric Kerr has got a lot of pairs. All right. We're three out of 18. Why did you raise the turn with king five there? Uh, we blocked the straights. Ooh, this could get real ugly. This could get very, very, very ugly. I don't know if I can raise get this in with ICM. <laughs> wow. Um, I don't think we ever make them fold an overpair if we check shove in a million years. So we're just gonna call and hope that the ace of spades rolls off and they shove two aces into me. Please check with your queen jack, mate. Please check with your queen jack. Map shoves, eh? We're gonna fold. Ah, oh, it's annoying, but like I just don't think queen ten with the queen of spades is a hand to call. Guy playing twenty twelve over two hundred hands. It's really annoying to fold Queen Town, but I'm gonna pass. All right, we have 40 bigs. What a fucking roller coaster to start the day. I just don't, like, I don't know this player. I could, like, have just folded to, like, some sick rag. They are Argentinian, so. But the fact that they just snap shove the river without even thinking about it, 
I just think it's so unlikely that they're bluffing, man. All right, kind of where we started the day. <laughs> After an absolute roller coaster, we are kind of where we started the day. In the middle of the pack, we're still in a good spot, chat. Uh, Queen Jack 9, we are gonna bet. Alright, 3 milli. Up and down like a jockey's arse to start the day, eh? 7 out of 18, though, we are in the middle of the pack. And I'll tell you one thing I don't like doing, and that's folding to Argentinians and South Americans with top pair. I do not like it at all. That fucking spot against Billy's cost me my whole time bank, which is a, it's a big problem at this stage. Hands and fur getting chips on my direct left is not good fun either. Not good fun at all. Uh, I'll try and make a small first. I've actually never flopped a set and lost in this group tournament, so this, this could be fun. We're obviously going to check it on capped range as well, so we've got to be careful. I think I'm better off calling this than most pairs, but I'm not 100% sure if it's meant to be a call anyway. Uh, we will call one, but this could be a mistake. And like, I think it's better if I call this than like six or sevens, eights, right? Because I got the, the good shot, potential to bluff hearts as well. Gonna be very sad if we lose the Queen Jack. Nice. Nice! Let's go! Um, I would be willing to play for stacks here with two other cards and the second old flush draw against Kareem. Obviously, if they have the no flush draw, it'd be pretty brutal, but I will run it. Alright, hopefully they don't have the Ace of Hearts. I would not run this without the $6,000 bounty, but with the $6,000 bounty, it's just... It's a lot of overlay, chat! Big, mo big moment. Let's get there. Come on, do it! It's the pot, man. Monster, monster moments. Ah, monster, monster moments. Fuck. Ah, we're not gonna fold it, they should have. It's really close, but with this, I just don't think I can, because this is never really a strong hand. Unless it's aces. Unless it is the aces. I think they can have ace nine here. I think they can have jack ten. But I do think we should bet this turn. Oh, that would have been a nice spot to get there. Oh god. What a roller coaster! But hey, as the famous philosopher Ronan Keaton said, life is a roller coaster, you've gotta ride it. Right? Five million ships, five thousand eight hundred dollars more in pennies. Alright, there is an all-in on the other table, and it is one of the best players in the world. There's an all-in on our table too. Alright, well we're about to get a pay jump. Alright, 17 left, guaranteed pay jump. Not mad at that. Not mad at that. Won't be mad at Graffy disappearing either. Alright, down to 16, just like that. Just like that. Interesting. I truly have no idea what I should do against this size. I think in Queen's Hooded we should just call, but I was potentially going to rip it in versus a normal size. The way their range works, I don't know if you know if I should check race get this in. It's, such a, it's a very, very unusual spot. Um, not something that I'm too familiar with. Of course. They're gonna have aces sometimes, chat. That is a thing that's gonna happen here, but we were not folding regardless, but now we are never, ever, ever, ever folding. I don't know if it's the right size, but once I check back and that's the river, like, feels like it's kind of the right size. And it's been up and down a lot. We got set over set in the, uh, in the 10K, so that dream is dead. Very, very, very early doors. What? We have 16 players left here. Seven away from an FT, seven away from a rave, 15 away from another scoop tile. When's the next ladder? We're, we're not folding this hand, I just want to see for me to get down to 13. Okay. We'll check. We'll start with a check. Not 100% sure though. We are going to go for a check raise on the turn. I think they're going to bet a lot of like Queen Jacks and Jack Eyes and, or King Eyes and if they have a 10, there's a good chance we stack them. This is a very dynamic board, so I don't think we should have a small check raise size here, but this might be a little big. They showed we were all in. 16 players left. All right, we take it 3.2 milli. Uh, I'm not gonna use this as a re-raise. Not going to use this one as a re-raise. No, thank you. Look, this ain't no chum. That's Billy Lewinsky. You put some respect on his name. Billy, if you're watching this, please don't take advantage of the fact I fall queen seven to you. Thank you very much. This could get very naughty indeed. I need three bets, we're all in. I'm gonna three bet call. <clears throat> I would shove ace king off. I need ace queen of spaders. Chat. 16 players left. Scoop event 91. We are all in with Ace King suited. This is a monster moment. This is for one of the biggest stacks in the tournament. Can we win the flip? Can we hold? Are we gonna win the scoop? Oh my days. Give me them chips. Let's go. Boom. Two flips. I win against the nines. 
I win with the nines. Let's go. Class flip to win. Every part seems so critical. It is proper naughty, mate. It is proper naughty. I got a better call because of the bounty as well, man. King of hearts, good shot. What can, <clears throat> what can one do? Ooh. Queen 10 for the shove, Queen Jack for the shove. Swings are wild, they check shove here and we lose these ships straight away. <laughs> Me. Look. Oh, what a flop. What a flop, man. We are fucking up and down like a jockey's arse. Holy shit. Holy God, what is going on? What is going down? This is an insane start to this tournament. An absolute insane start to the tournament. We have 50 bigs, chat, but we are all over the place. I do think we're going to be in trouble a lot there, but what can I do? I won't be mad at an ace. I just don't think I can fold King Jack on that board um, when we have the King of Hearts. But in shoves, we're all in. Should I call? No, I don't think so. This is a good flop. All right, chat, madness kicking off here. Fucking madness kicking off. All right, let's have a little rail here. Let's have a little rail and see if we're about to lose two people. We're gonna rail this hand and then I'm gonna run to the toilet, take a quick piss. It's twos versus queen ten. Wow, what a flop. Do not lose a player. All right, chat. This has been a mad, 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 mad start. We are four out of 16. It's all super close. We have 41 bigs. We have a few short stacks on our table. We're just up and down like a jockey's arse. We're having a bit of crack. We're dancing like an arsehole. Let's try and make the final table. And here, Maniac 2000 on the biggest stage. Go and show them. Got a new jacket. A little bit of scoop tokens actually turned into real clothes. Hello. Wait, let me get full screen for you. Is a spin, you sexy fuck? Is a spin? Ooh, Very nice. All over the place. <clears throat> Absolutely all over the place. I'm gonna fold because I think Billy has a lot of traps here. <clears throat> like I think Billy has a quite strong range and I would like to play for this bounty, but Era is gonna know that they're not gonna get a huge amount of folds here given what Billy flats in the first place and the $8,000 bounty. Look, I would call if it was heads up, but this flat just changed that. It is what it is. <clears throat> it is what it is. Six out of 16, chat. Six out of 16. Come on, the lads. Simon is obviously very short here and is all in. Does Arrow have down the call? No. Ace King again. Obviously, if Billy shoves, this is gonna be not pretty much not folding regardless, I don't think. Alright, chat. This could, if they shove, this is an insane spot chat. Like absolutely insane. We're not folding no matter what happens. Avoid the 10. They get one of the best players in the world. Let's go! Let's go! Wow, what an insane start to this day. $8,000 in bounties, 4 out of 15. Whew. Insane behavior. Absolutely insane. I don't know what's going on, but I'm here for it. Keeping it, keeping it real. Keeping it exciting. Keeping the fans on the edge of their seats. Tell me you're not enjoying it, I dare you. Tell me you're not clenching your butt cheeks every 20 seconds, I dare you. Whew. Obviously, getting Billy out of here is great news as well. Legend, really enjoy his banter, but get him gone! Get him gone! We have a ladder for 15th, did I say? Ah, oh, no, 13th is the next ladder. There's an all in on your table. Do we see a call? Do we see a call? It's Ace Deuce versus King 4. Looks like the King 4 is gonna win. Sorry, excuse me. Obviously, said that the wrong way. The Ace Deuce! 10 out of 10 jacket, I'm a fan. Yeah, I like it too. Gotta spend some of those scoop money. I don't spend any of it, so she's, she's gotta spend a little bit of it. 200k coat. And he's just like, oh, you won't buy me a Chanel bag? Well, I will happily spend 3,000 euro on other stuff. <laughs> Era shoves. This is, again, an insane spot. That is an $8,000 bounty. That is an $8,000 bounty. We got to check a lot on this bird. Bird? Bird? And uh, I can't check rates. Get an ace king here. If they check the turn, it could be some pretty big bets, though. It's a, it's a really, really, really tough spot if they empty. Not my fault. I think I might be better calling King Jack. King X of Hearts. King 10. I know you're going to think it's insane, but I don't beat any other value. I don't think. Like, they, I don't think they bet King Jack or King 10 like this. Um, and I think I need to have outs against their value range. I know it's going to, I know people are going to think it's insane, but I had a really, really similar spot in the 530 bounty builder. And I checked, shoved the turn, and Dom told me it was a punt. And look, this, uh, this might be wrong. I would be very willing to accept that I'm wrong here. But when it comes to these ICM spots, I just, I've just learned that tight is right. And, uh, the reality is, like, I just have better hands to call that have an opportunity to improve. I don't have any opportunity to improve. King doesn't improve me potentially. Ace doesn't improve me potentially if I'm against a set or if I'm against a straight. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty ridiculous fold to make. I am aware, but I think 
It's okay. All right, this could get pretty naughty. This could get pretty naughty. Also, I have no time bank um, to explain my top process further. I don't think they should empty King Jack there. Maybe, maybe, maybe I meant to call turn and fall river. It's possible. That is a disgusting miss. That is a disgusting miss. I'm going to shove chat. They are sometimes going to have a good hand. Well, ace-10 is a very good hand to use. Uh, Simon's bounty is not huge. Air is going to have some chip tra traps as well, but we're usually going to be pretty live. Unless they have aces, we're not fucked, and these bounties are pretty big, so I am going to go all in. All right. Oh, swingy stuff, chat. Swingy, swingy stuff. Like, I just think it's a spot where we should pull the trigger with ace-10. Hopefully we run good. Let's hold. Actually, pretty big pot. Oh, damn. That is a uh, pretty big swing. Pretty big swing. It would be unfortunate for Anzim, but I would take it if they bust them. All right. Probably down at the fifth, right? Yep. Fifth out of 14. This is very tense. What a dramatic start it's been, eh? <laughs> dramatic AF, as the kids would say. Is Simon going to call? Negative. There is none in on the other table. And we might be about to get a ladder. Tens versus ace three. That's quite the flop. That is quite the flop. Looks like we're about to be down to 13 with Anzin getting a lot of chips on my direct left, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. We get a little ladder. We can move a step closer here in Maniac 2000 on the biggest stage again. We are now guaranteed $15,000. We are getting close, chat. Now, I'm going to call. Uh, I don't think we want a true fold this jack here in this setup. As far as I'm aware, as far as I understand... I did it the other day and a few people DM me saying it was bad. Now it was on the FT. It was a little bit different, but uh, we are going to call and pray to the love of God that the Queen of Spades rolls off. We're going to just try and show it down. It's going to show it down. I am towards the bottom of my range, but I like don't see what they have put on the flop that then checks down that uh, is ahead of me. Nice. <clears throat> nice, nice, nice. This is a little wide with the stacks now. We do see the all in from the $8,000 bounty. Huge pots. Does Anzen have the hand to call? Not this time. I have most certainly got to concentrate on playing as well. Um, obviously a 10 would make things a lot easier. I have a lot of queens. I have a lot of eights. I have some aces. I block jack 10, jack 9. I do think that they're out of line here a lot, but I do think they're out of line in this one a lot. All right, blinds are up. We have a little bit over 30 bigs. We are two spots away from the FT. We are two spots away from the FT. If we see... Wow, that's a monster flop. <sighs> Scum. Oh, my God. How many bigs is that? 15. Chat. I, I had no time bank. Uh, I had no time bank, but this player is playing the tightest out of everyone on the table so far. That obviously might have been too tight with a $4,500 bounty. Like, absolutely might have been. I just have no time bank. I had no time to make the decision, but they, they're playing so tight. So, 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 so tight. Like, I can't, like, you know, I have, I have, a, I have a thousand hands on them as well, and they're just, they're incredibly, incredibly tight. But with a four and a half thousand dollar bounty, that, that is one of the tightest falls I've ever made. Ooh, just not convinced. If that was against anyone else on the table, I would have called. So if people are asking why... Like, listening to the words I'm saying. Like, I, I have a read and I'm going with it. It's, 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 I know it's incredibly tight, especially with the bounty. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Ah, I have no time bank. Fuck. Oh, eight. Jesus. We're watching Spraggy stream here. We're getting put in some tough spots. Some extremely tough spots, man. Oh, I had an intense hand against uh, Billy Lewinsky earlier on, and I used most of my time bank on it, which was silly. Do we get more time bank? We will most certainly get some time bank when we go to the FT. How much? I'm not sure. If we make it. Obviously, Anzin can pull the trigger if they want, but they've got to deal with a very strong range over here. There's an all-in on the other table. Deuce flops. Possibly could have shoved this one free. I just don't suspect that Nine Cream is opening very wide there. All right. <clears throat> all right. Um, very intense right now, chat. Very, very, very intense. This player's all in for nothing. Nothing at all. I imagine Zach is all in and we see a double call. How could they fold? You see what you had when you folded Ace Jack? Never. Never. I think they're going to call. And we're going to have a double all in at risk. Uh, 
All right, we're on the final table bubble chat. We are on the final table bubble. This is fucked. This is very, very, very fucked right now. 10 players left. This could be for us to be on the final table. If we don't see a tree, it's gonna be chop a lot. Oh my God, we're on another final table of a scoop chat. Oh my days. Oh my days. You know what we need to do. You know what we need to do. First off, we need to keep our 100% record. Secondly, we must summon the run good. And you know, there is only one way that we are going to do it. It's funny that Dane is in the house. He probably doesn't remember this. But Dane is, I think, three years older than me, maybe four. He was the first person that ever introduced me to this song back in 2000 when I was nine years old. Ladies and gentlemen, for the second time in a couple of days, we are on a scoop fucking final table. If you have epilepsy, please look away. All right, summon the fucking room good. She was a sexy lady. She had to get her trill. How she get him? How she know? Got my dad jeans on from a dad dancing. Let's fucking go. One double up and it's game on. She was a sexy lady. She had to get her trill. How'd she get him? How'd she know? Greetings, hold tight. Live. It has no meaning. We bring this group to you. Put your hands up in the air. One simple question to answer. You. Let's hear you singing. She's a maniac. And she's dancing. Like she never did before. She's a maniac, maniac on the floor. She said, Put your hands in the air. Side to side, like you just don't care. Everybody in the house. Okay, okay, okay. Rocky, Rocky, baby, baby, Rocky, Rocky, more. Rocky, Rocky, baby, baby, Rocky, Rocky, dance for five, four, three, two, one. Let's fucking go! Ooh, we are gonna be all in. Could be a short visit to the FT chat. We're all in. Good luck. Do we get ninth place after all that dancing? We are all in against Dalton. Probably a chop. Chop it up. All right, all right, it is what it is. We play, at least we've won a hand on the FT. Oh, the Jacks. Nobody in the world plays them better. Nobody in the world plays them better. All right, friend of the stream. The Jacks on the highest stage. The Jacks on the highest stage. The Jacks on the very, very, very highest stage. We are all in. Nobody plays them like me. Nobody. Do they do us some goodness on a monster FT? All right, come on, the lads. Come on, the lads. I'll raise into loads of people that cover me. I'm not afraid to raise it up. Um, we are going to call one here. I think with the king of spades, it's just too tight to fold. I think they are meant to lead on these 8, 7 X boards, but I don't think having this card is great. Like, we blocked jack 10, jack 9, which might be some of the leading hands. I'm not 100% sure how they're going to construct it. Just don't know. Like, so I'm not going to sit here and pretend I do. But, all right. We felt lines are up, which is somewhat troublesome. I think it's a call on the flop. Could be wrong though. We are not going to be defending this one naturally. All right, chat. We are going to be all in almost certainly. Obviously, Eric Hora shoving right now with like an ace queen would be fucking sexy. Not going to lie. Might get an erection if it happens. We do have actually a reasonable amount of fold equity here. We're all in. All in on that risk with the ace king on the final table of scoop. Can we keep the 100% record intact? 
Or does it all come crashing down right now against Dalton? You can have Ace Queen this time, mate. You can definitely have Ace Queen this time. We don't we don't mind that. Queens versus Ace Queen. We did fold an ace. Could be first ladders on the FT. We could be down to eight. Let's go. Not gonna be mad at ladders off this stack. Obviously, we'd love to win. We'd love to get bounties, but ladders right now is the aim of the game. Six out of eight, chat. We summoned the fucking aces. We summoned the aces. I repeat, we summoned the aces. Please show the nine cream. Oh. Hopefully it hasn't cost us, chat. Hopefully it has not cost us. Just an all-in on FT, isn't it? I don't think I can raise call on this exact board. It's too dynamic, right? I think we need to just shove. All right. All right. Uh, we summoned the aces, but we didn't get the pot. Damn it. All right, though. Getting in the mix, though. 22 big blinds. One double up, and we will be dancing. We will be absolutely dancing with a double up. If Eric Hora shoves. Mm, I'm going to fold. The reason I'm going to fold? Call it by fold. Anton has to flat X. Exceptionally strong hands here. Let's see if I fold. I'll be gangster. I think I've taken too long though. I think I've taken a little too long. Like they have to flat really high up in their range due to the stacks is the reason why we're folding. If we don't see a king or a jack, we lose another player. We do lose a big bounty, but at this stage with this stack, we take ladders. We take what we're given. Seven players left. All right. Whew. Seven players left. We scumming. Hold. Oh my god, that's scum. That is absolute scum. We are going to have a little raise if we get shoved. It is what it is. It is what it is if Dalton shoves. Uh, I'm going to bet on this board. I don't think I need to bet big. It's a board where we can bet big, but I don't think we need to. Given how my range works here. I'm going to do something I swear I would never do. I'm going to spoil. Vinto wins the final table. We're going to check back and just try and get this a showdown. They have a good spot to bluff the river potentially, but that's okay. Hopefully they just check with a jack-10, a 9-10, something they don't want to bluff. I don't like my hand as a bluff catcher with the queen of spades at all, so we're not even going to contemplate and call in here. Nice, that's an important pot chat. That is a very, very, very important pot. Obviously, opening this is problematic in the sense that it doesn't allow the opportunity for 9 cream to be shoved on blind versus blind or to him for them to bust, but we're trying to win the tournament. I'm not folding queen-10 suited. I'm what? What you gonna do? Make me fold queen 10 suit? I don't think so, mate. Oh, this is a, that is a fucked up flop. That is. That is a fucked up flop. That's a fucked up flop. This is the only player I'd consider getting it in here, but I just don't think I can. They don't have ace king. They have king 9 suited. I don't think they have jacks. We are gonna shove. I think they have king queen. I think they have ace queen. I think they have some ace high diamonds. And sometimes they have 8 9 suited. And we are fucked. But I'm gonna go with my hand on the turn. Oh, God, I hope this is right. Do hope this is right. Huge moment. Seven left. Huge moment with seven players left. I don't think David Tank a better hand. Maybe Queen Jack Tank can have Ace King, but it seems so unlikely. Any Jack 10 callers? Any Jack 10 callers? Big pot. Very, very, very big pot. Hold. Get in! Come on! Let's go! Let's fucking go. Let's go! What? You want to hear the Irish national anthem? Is that what I just fucking heard? Maniac on the floor. Did they have a flush draw or did they just have King 10? Just the King 10. <laughs> um, we are gonna call. We are gonna call. We have too many bigs to shove. We have a few too many bigs to shove. No King or Jack, please. No King or Jack, please. No king or jack on the river, and we could be about to get a huge double up. Obviously, if they have king jack or if they have tens, we're out of the tournament. Well, that's a pretty good river card. <clears throat> Please have king jack or tens. Please have king jack or tens. Oh my god, what a pot! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! What a turnaround! Let's go! Let's go! They shove, we call, and it is actually disgustingly big. Let's go, chat. Let's go. More and more. Will Griggs on fire. Your defense is terrified. Say, Will Griggs on fire. Your defense is terrified. Will Griggs on fire. Your defense is terrified. Will Griggs on fire. If I need a player to shove, naturally we are not folding Ace King. Naturally we are not folding Ace King. Future loot says a year. It's gonna be a lot of chops. 
Not this one though, mate. This banny is becoming more and more of a reality. Not with 9-5 suited. But becoming more and more of a reality right now. Short stack is all in. Sorry, second short stack, excuse me. A wild, wild way to end scoop. <clears throat> this blind versus blind will definitely be a call. I think it's a shove. Like, I just think it's a shove. Obviously, potentially giving a decent chunk of chips away, but... <clears throat> it's running so good, man. Just running so good. I'm going to raise call. With the biggest Benny in the game, I'm going to raise call. If it was, if, if this was, this wasn't a PKO, I would uh, just shove. But because it's a PKO and they have a $17,000 Benny, all right, even though they're very tight, we got a call here. Uh, this player in a small blind is so, so tight. $17,000 Benny is pretty big. But if I lose the pot, we are going to have 16 million and they are going to have 16 million. Like the player in the small blind is so tight. Alright, we lose another player. <clears throat> we lose another player. I think we have to fold. I just don't think they're gonna get super out of line here. We are one out of five chat. We are guaranteed thirty-eight thousand dollars. We are in a great spot to get another top three, and to be honest, in a great spot to win the whole goddamn thing. Wow. I think of the stack setup, we gotta do a lot of raising. Obviously not raise calling, even with the fucking naughty little bounty it is. I'm gonna bet here. Of course it's a decent board for them, but I have good backdoors and uh, they're just ICM handcuffed a lot. And I just don't wanna check, so I can't really check call, don't wanna check raise. We're gonna check the turn though, it doesn't make more sense really for me to bet anymore. Having a jack doesn't make this an ideal hero call, let me tell you that right now. We're gonna check and try to win against Ace High. Don't think I can eke out a big blind. They're gonna check a lot of 10x on the turn. I think they're gonna check a lot of 10x on the turn. Pretty naughty to check show, but I don't think we should do it. I didn't think they have a lot of 10x, for sure. But I also just have a hand that's very, very high up in my range. Because I don't have much other hands that wouldn't block. Dark of Spades is bad though. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. I don't think they're gonna bluff King Highs. I don't think they're gonna bluff Ace Highs when I block if they're gonna block some Jack there. So I'm actually gonna make a pretty big fold, I would say. Pretty big fold. Alright, we are we are one out of five chat. What an absolute fucking insane error. What the fuck is that? What in the fuck is that? We haven't three them once and we just get the aces. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Any queens there for Umbelt? <clears throat> we got Connor Costello in the house as well. What is the crack? <clears throat> we're gonna call, I guess. It'd be a pretty sick exploit to just fold right now, but we're not going to. <clears throat> I mean, I would bet the size of ace-king, ace-queen, they might not think I would. Um, sorry, ace-queen, king-queen, if we true back, king-jack. But I don't think I need the hero call the river. They have nines. They block ace-king, I don't know if they show for us though. Fair play if they found the bluff. I mean, it depends what they think of my range, right? If they think that I never take that size with a king on the turn, it's a horrendously bad fold. I might have just got wrecked, obviously. Um, but I have a lot of king-x that's going to true bet them as a bluff, so... Uh, and then I have ace-king as well, obviously. <clears throat> And I have ace king as well. King nine suited, king six suited. I, I, I don't think like I need to worry about it. And they don't have a worse hand for value, so I could be wrong though. Obviously, could be very, very wrong. <clears throat> Where are you green? Where are you green? Uh, I think nines is just a mandatory call. <clears throat> We're obviously going to see a turn card. Well, I don't know if it's obvious, but we are going to see a turn card. They obviously have a lot of deuce X, and I, I say a lot. They have some deuce X, I don't have any. Many questions says, would you slow play a king like this? I think so, but I could be wrong. I won't be betting massive. <sighs> could be wrong though. I might be talking shit. I might be talking absolute gibberish. Alright, Dalton has a pretty big chip lead now. It is what it is. Interesting that they're raising blind versus blind there. Not sure how much raising they should be doing at all. Not sure how much raising they should be doing at all. Oh, this is good fold. He's not getting outlined there considering the ICM. He might. Like, it's possible. It's just hard to call the tree bet, call the flop, and have a hand to find that's a good check raise on the turn, like needs a nine or something, but it's not impossible. Do we see the hands in call? <clears throat> we do. Probably seen the hands in double up. Confirmed. All right, that's not cool. Stacks are all very close now. That is not cool. Robin in the house says, let's go take it down. I'm trying, Paul. I'm gonna check raise this one against Umbul if they decide to bet, which they shouldn't, a huge amount. <clears throat> Annoying. They're just gonna have a lot of nines and some flush draws. Can't bluff. Doesn't make any sense to bluff this hand. Literally says, Finton, could you say Rob Evans? 
There you go, mate. Just so hard to see what they're turning into above the calls. 1.2x on the turn. It could be like a king jack with a king of clubs, but I'm not convinced, so I'm not going to be hero calling here. I have a lot of ace -X. I have some two pairs that would check the river. All right, four out of five. Up and down like a jockey's arse. It's been the way this tournament, but it is what it is. We're in a six spot still. We are still in a six spot. Takes queen versus ace jack for the biggest bounty. Oh, my days. Obviously, would have taken the ladder. This is anybody's game right now. Anybody's game. All up in the air. Anybody double ups right now? They're the chip leader. Oh, except for little Lands and Flirt. Oh, poor little Lands and Flirt. Ace king versus ace queen. Could be the end of Anzen. Could be ladders. Unlucky, mate. Unlucky. We'll take the ladders, but it is very unlucky. Obviously, got the ace king to my ace queen. Blind versus blind. <clears throat> Tough stuff. We have four players left. We're almost in podium territory again. I guess we never actually updated our trophy tracker to say we made another final table, did we? We never updated it to say we made another FT. Actually, I don't think we updated it when we made the other FT either, so 33 FTs this year. Starting to look a little bit better the year, eh? Starting to look a little bit better. I think, I think Ace-9 is okay, because their true app buffing range is going to consist of a lot of 9x. So I think we, like, use Ace Deuce true Ace-5 suited pretty much, uh, like, a lot. Like, half the time with each one, and I think Ace-9 off. Just doesn't have the right qualities for me to rip this in their face, so we will fold like a good little, like a good little, like a good little obedient man. We are guaranteed, uh, what, $48,000. What an absolute insane way to end scoop it is. We're going to check our option. We have summoned the run good. Uh, we're just going to mix again because, like, they're going to bluff here and uh, they're going to bluff here and uh, we have a pair. So that's just how we're going to play the spot. <clears throat> nice hand. We just rolled 85, so whatever. Nice hand. Here we go! Ray's calling with the ace queen. They shove, we snap! Alright, hold on. I don't know if it applies to same on an FT, but it's such a disaster to bet fold. I don't know, man. I think it does apply, but I, this could be a disaster. Come on! One double up. Let's go! Sorry, I know it's not nice when it's going up and down and people have it on TVs, but fuck it! Come on! We need Susie! Susie Boyle is going to save the day! Let's go, Susie! Susie Boyle has summoned the Ace Jack suited, and we are about to be all in on our second scoop final table in a few days. This is our moment. If they shove, we call the Susie Boyle room good. It's Subo time! Let's hold. We can get there. Come on! Ah, oh, Susie, you're breaking my heart. Ah! Susie. Susie. Susie Boyle. What can you do? What a fucking few days, chat. Ah, oh, what an insane few days. Woo! What an insane few days. Not to be. We have lost our 100% record in scoops. I'm gonna just check how much we actually had to cash for there. I think it was uh, $48,000. 2k pko we had forty eight and a half thousand dollars insane absolutely insane i thought susie was gonna do a chat i thought subo was gonna do it for us